we know when there is a temperature changes as the material going to expand okay or is going to sink if temperature rises then material is going to elongate and when the temperature is cooling down in the time in the time the material is to get shrink or you can say shorten now when we think of a civil engineering structure for example our chamber which is subjected to uh, uniform temperature rises in that case we can observe that material is going to expand until the material is going to expand okay now if there is a no support in this side if there is no support in this side in such cases in such cases what you will observe that there is no stress in the material okay when you have free end when we have the free end there is no stress induced in the material so here if you have a cross element and if the temperature rises from t1 to t2 or t initial to t final t initial to t final you will observe that material is going to elongate and since there is no resistance here there is no support here you will observe there is no stress develop in the material okay, so there will be elongations but but there will not be any stress induced in the material now if you have a another support this side okay if you have another support this side since we are not allowing material to deform there will be stress for this material we are going to see how we can identify the stress how you can calculate the stress for such member here we are considering this member which is subjected to only axial deformation this we can achieve this we can achieve by carrying the temperature uniformly so throughout the element everywhere we are increasing the temperature from 25 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius for this example then in such cases we will observe and material is subjected to axial deformation only if there is uniform changes in the temperature then there will be only axial deformation and due to the axial deformation there will be axial stress only now if you have a material where on the bottom side we have another temperatures okay and on the top we have another temperatures and initial temperature was something like this in that case we we'll observe that this structure is subjected to axial as well as bending we'll observe for this cases the material this material is going to deform like this okay so there will be axial deformations as well as there will be bending also okay so there will be axial reaction as well as there will be bending moment develop into the temperature rise okay so here we are going to see how we can analyze a structure subjected to uniform temperature variation and subject to non uniform subject to non uniform temperature variation how much axial force will develop in the member how much bending force will develop in the member that will depend upon the that will depend upon the you know, thermal expansion young modulus and our geometric property you know, a of the i so that we are going to see we are going to see how we can calculate the thermal stresses developing due to the temperature rises so here we have learned that for a non uniform temperature variation there will be axial force as well as your bending moment at the support okay. now this part we can calculate by considering our coefficient of thermal expansion coefficient of thermal expansion we can write as a fractional changes in the length or unit changes in the temperature so fractional changes means delta l by l if changes in the length is delta l then we can say the fractional changes in the length is delta l by l due to the unit changes in the temperature okay so this part we used to say our coefficient of thermal expansion and since the delta l by l is a strain and strain do not have any unit unit for the unit for the coefficient of thermal expansion is your per degree celsius or per degree fahrenheit 
Okay. So here we have learned that coefficient thermal expansion is the fractional changes in the length due to the changes in due to the due to the changes in the temperature. Now here you just see we have learned that delta L by L is our strain. Now L by L. Okay, so delta L by L from this equation we can write that your delta L by L that is your alpha times delta T from this equation alpha times delta T. Okay, that is equal to strain. Again, we know the stress that is equal to E times epsilon. So here E times your E times alpha T. Okay, so for a member in which there is a uniform variation in the temperature. In such cases, the stress developed in the structure will be T times alpha times delta T. Now, if you want to calculate the forces, then we can say that then it will be stress times the area that is your force. Okay, that way we can calculate the axial forces, the member where we have uniform temperature rises. We have learned that if there is a uniform temperature rises, then there will be axial deformation only, and due to that, there will be axial stress only. Or for other way, you can say, or other way, you can say, there will be axial force only, or axial reaction forces in the support. And for a non uniform temperature rises, there will be axial force as well as your bending moment. 